hello my love bugs once again it's your girl let me love here with another message from the divine as i always say today if you're hearing my voice i ask that you heart not your heart for i'm just a messenger and we are all here to witness and learn thank you guys for your likes subscribe shares and views everything is greatly appreciated my loves let's go ahead and get into a reading on this good evening y'all i keep hearing future codeine crazy yeah somebody doesn't want somebody to know maybe you know if you got a lot of codeine you might not want somebody to know so let's get off of that but uh i keep hearing codeine crazy codeine crazy all this mother the money got me codeine crazy yeah you think that i wait you think i forgot about us something i'm changing this shit on my level up to the level i'm working my heart and my soul and my shit and some more i'm with that dolce gabbana i went to german i'm in mean, your right my honor something all this lean got a pen is the dropper somebody used to the party life don't you paint the pen america paint oh uh, he know he got a bunch of churn because he was like i'm taking everything that come with these millions i'm taking everything that come with my children oh uh, yeah yeah okay so somebody might be you know on codeine pretty heavy to help them cope with their stresses codeine crazy oh wow you might be one of their stresses though <laughs> They want to act irrationally. They want to argue for you. They want to argue for your love, argue for your, um, just like for your energy. They want to argue you down. They may be upset that you don't want to deal with them. Um, give me someone that's not a source, Holy Spirit. But someone sees you as fulfillment, and I think that they're upset. Maybe that they didn't see that before. But see, this is a hidden enemy that wants to attack you because of this. This person could be on codeine heavy yeah codeine crazy somebody's over drinking this hidden enemy of yours because they want to attack you they may they may be you know over drinking or drinking codeine because they see you as fulfillment now they feel like they missed an opportunity everybody wants you and it's gonna be hard to get you <laughs> i mean Ed think, i mean everybody love me i'm so fly <laughs> Yeah, this person feels like uh, they thought that they were going to get a victory over you by acting irrationally and trying to sneak you in secret, trying to attack you in secret because they just can't stand to see you shining, can't stand to see you happy because it's not with them. Yeah, this person wants to take control of you or wants to be an authority figure over you, you know, basically tell you what to do. Because you're having a new start, they want to be a part of it, but they want you to give them the authority over you. Instead, you're leaving them out in the cold. So this person kind of wants to be in a partnership with you, want to be your partner, even though you're the one that has the wealth and things coming towards you. This person wants to be the one to tell you what to do with it. They want you to be submissive to them. All right. So even though you're the one with the bag, this person's heavily burdened because you won't take their love offer. They want to try to give it to you so you... Will be submissive. I'm here giving him something he can feel. Maybe that's what he used to. Feminine is giving him something he can feel. Maybe you gave him something he can feel at one point. And now he wants some more and he's heartbroken because he can't get it. He's tried multiple times, but he can't. I'm getting he's really heartbroken too because he partnered. He wants to partner with you, but he, he chose to do something else other than deal with you. He chose everything else in the world over you and now he feels incomplete. And again, he's just upset because you're you're moving forward and he's being left behind. Okay, who is this? Crybaby person that wants to work with the collective. This is somebody maybe you had a family with in the past. So this could be someone you maybe have a child with. This could be someone who you uh, were in a relationship with at one point. Um, this also could be someone who's a part of your family now. Give me someone that's a part of your family now. I'm telling you, this person, <laughs> oh, you broke your bonds with this person, but this person went and got bonded to someone else. Who is this other person? A queen of wands energy. This person went and got bonded to a queen of wands energy, and they want to come back around to you. They're having bad karma for choosing to do this, for leaving you behind. They're, now they're seeing you for who you really are. Yeah. But they're still, I'm getting, but now you're going to, you, you've already seen them for who they really are. They're codependent. They're begging. That's all that this is. 
Yeah, he's being codependent and begging while you're out here self-sufficient and independent, looking good and single. And you're receiving justice while you're single. This person doesn't think it's fair for you not to have someone to rule over you. I, I don't know what's wrong with this person. But he most definitely feels like it's not right that you don't have anyone ruling over you. And it's not right that he went and or you broke some sort of energetic tie that he had with you. And you chose to move forward. He wants the same energy that you gave him in the past, but that's the energy that had you stagnant and you refuse to go back to that. You're you're you live in the good life. I'm here. Welcome to the good life. Better than the life I live when I thought that I was going to go crazy. OK, and now my grandmama ain't the only one calling me baby. OK, you is about to get in a relationship with somebody. This man mad because, yeah. Your people around you ain't the only one calling your baby. <laughs> your family, yeah, you're about to, you're being recognized for who you really are. A lot of people want to have this passion in the beginning with you. A lot of people want you to be their baby. A lot of people want some hidden knowledge on what you got going on. You're very mysterious. They want a part of it. They want you to come move off the karma waters with them. It's kind of like they knew your enemy at one point. They knew that this this person that was trying to hold you back. Um, I'm hearing this person consulted with them. This person used to go around telling everybody they couldn't stand your ass. Meanwhile, they were gawking, watching, waiting on some sort of commercial success to come in for you so that they could try to stop it. All right. They see that you have commercial success now. They can't stop anything because you're enterprising and you're uh, thinking smart. You're also a go-getter. Every time they may try to set up a roadblock, you find a way out. And now you're on your way to a partnership and they can't make you leave from that. <laughs> All right. This person that you're going towards sees you as an opportunity and they want to come towards you this masculine knows this so this person wants to try to set something up sabotage what does this person want to sabotage they want to rush in and knock your confidence down or maybe so like knock you off okay this person wants to come in and disrupt your peace disrupt your energy uh get in oh, yeah just knock you down i hear knock you down a couple notches that's what this person wants to do they want to mess up your confidence. Oh, okay, so this person want to baby trap you so they can uh, pull your energy, you know, play with you, pull your strings, pull your heartstrings. They want to put a baby in you so that you don't go off to this other relationship because then they're going to be like, no, nah, ain't nobody going to be with my mama. I mean, be with my mama. Be with my baby mama blue face style, okay? So he's going to pull a blue face. Blue face of Krishan. You're going to glow up. He's going to see it. He's going to want to come back. This is a person that just wants to get what? And I'm hearing they also want to get married to you. Yeah, this person want to get married to you. They want to switch up your judgment. So if they get married to you, they feel like they'll get your status. Get the same status that you have. But what is this Knight of Wands, Five of Wands? They're having a lot of chaos. They can't do this magic or they can't come towards you because they're financially juggling. They need some money. So in order for them to feel like they can knock you out of the way of your commercial success they need to get up under you but you're too smart for that they tried 80 different times to try to find a way in your energy maybe even ride past your house trying to talk about you to other people to get them to do work for free okay so that's like pillow talking it's kind of like you know if they wanted some sort of services done they wanted somebody to rob you harass you they want somebody to do magic on you they would have to pay in order to do this and this person can't do any of the things that they want to do that they fantasize about doing when they're at home because they don't have any money all right you're in a very i'm hearing voluptuous i don't know child this person is really paying attention to what your yes king cups this person is really paying attention about i mean paying attention to what your body got going on this person is determined to put a baby in your body so that you won't be out here uh show, showcasing yourself for some reason this person feels like you're gonna showcase yourself or maybe this person feels like someone's watching you you're being showcased in some sort of way maybe the holy spirit just put you on a pedestal child but you're looking good and this person is passionate about it he wants a brand new start with you all right you're no longer uh mentally entrapped by this person maybe they did something in the past in a relationship that kind of had you fucked up yeah probably was out of being a whore in the third party um you were awakened that this person had you in this third party and was out here being a whore. Maybe this person even went off and had a baby with somebody else. All right. You got the message. What message? 
you receive good news after you figured out what this person had going on and you cutting them off. They thought that you were mentally trapped, worrying about they, what they were doing while they were this king of wands. So this person could have been going out sleeping with people. Like I said, having a baby, could have went and got married. He could have did a whole bunch of stuff, you know, living his life. But everything he was doing was based off of making you jealous and that shit wasn't working. He's so surprised that you don't care. He feels like if you're so content, then you must have another person out here courting you. All right, so this person knows that you're getting good news in life. Like I said, they see your commercial success. They can't stop you because they can't pay no gang stalkers to do nothing to you. So they have no choice but to watch it, and that's keeping them mentally trapped. They're looking back at what they invested in to try to have you mentally trapped using some magic okay you've healed from that you've healed from this person in the situation but i kind of because you got your guard up you stood your ground but what's this high priestess what was he doing to get you mentally trapped he was trying to affect your psyche what is this betrayal he thought he betrayed you so good well, whoever this female he went off with, he thought he betrayed you by going with this person. I'm telling you, this is somebody from your family. This person thought that he was betraying family or friend group, okay? Somebody from your old soul tribe. Somebody who you thought was a part of your soul tribe, but they were a hidden enemy just as well as this masculine. He thought that if he can go back into your friends list or go back into your home, like, I'm here at home, girl. He might have got with somebody who was close to you, maybe a friend of yours, and he thought that that was the ultimate betrayal, and he thought him and her were going to be able to flourish and make all kind of stuff. He even thought he had a high priestess on his hands. He really thought that he had a healer. He thought that he made the better choice, and he was going to make you jealous. But I'm hearing this is not the first feminine that he went with after you. He went with plenty of other women, but he thought he, he, thought he hit big time with this one. Why did he think so different with this feminine? Oh, because she was down for the count of betraying you. She felt like she didn't like you no way. She was also a hidden enemy of yours, like I said, playing in your face. And this person is broke, busted, and disgusted because this masculine want to be back all in your business. She's also upset that this masculine that she got with is not your divine masculine. Ain't that crazy? She thought that this was going to be the masculine that wanted to marry you and wanted to do all this stuff with you and move forward with you and have success with you. That's the only reason why she went toward this masculine. On some I take your man type shit. So she thought she did, but she missed the boat. She got the wrong fucking masculine. Yeah, she really thought she was going to have success by betraying you in this situation. For some reason, both of these people thought they could enterprise better than you. This woman is sick. She's having to recover from this person in his third parties. Or she's having to recover because you're having celebrations. And, oh, yeah, she having to recover because she invested so much magic in the truck. She was trying to do magic against you with this masculine, trying to make it seem like it was going to work, and none of her shit was working. Now she weak, don't know what to do, need energy. He ready to leave her ass. She see that you over here thriving and doing better as well. Now she see this man want to break up with her, stop talking to her, because he want to manifest something with you, because he tired of having misfortunes with her ass, okay? Now she wants you to have your guard up, which you are, but she wants you to have your guard up, okay, Um, to this masculine, but she also wants to try to... She wants you to have your guard up to this masculine, but he wants to try to come in and cause a stalemate to your new relationship that you're manifesting. But again, he doesn't have any money to do so. This whole time, this could have been a person that was harassing you for years after you broke up with them because they were investing all of their money into doing witchcraft on you into having witchcraft done illusions being painted uh they probably sent the masculine towards you to talk to you you thought you were going to be in a relationship with this masculine could have been the worst masculine in the world um a whole bunch of other opportunities that you could have possibly had this person could have set roadblocks in the way with this magic to try to do so yes his whole point was to end everything from you he might have even had a hank or something in a tree watching you next to your house to see what your moves were to see if you had another opportunity maybe a masculine pull up whatever so he could try to make you miss this opportunity this person was very much obsessed with everything you had going on okay so what is the outcome for this person all right material and spiritual poverty this person feels helpless he's having hardships all right this king of wands wants to have a passionate little beginning so he can have victory with an advancement in career and victory with you, but you're going to leave that ass out in the cold. Okay, what happened to the feminine? You're just going to leave this masculine out in the cold. He's going to be material in, a, in, in material and spiritual poverty. All right, this woman could possibly... Oh, her mental health. Something about her mental health. You getting this brand new start, actually being an earth angel, being a truth, thinking rationally, not allowing her, her your energy and not allowing whatever plot that they kept planning to work 
uh, is killing her that she can not betray you. So what's the outcome for her, Holy Spirit? It's killing her. She's heavily burdened. She's overloaded, exhausted, under pressure because of this person. She tried too hard. Her load was too heavy. All right. She was too angry. She moved in haste. She was impulsive. And uh, she's very upset that you're ahead of her in the game. She feels like you're one step away from your success and you're ahead of the game. And she was trying her hardest to stop that in secret doing witchcraft. She missed an opportunity. You you were stable. So this woman is really upset that you're stable. That's just her punishment. She tried to call her. She told a lot of lies on you as well. That had to come out. She told a lot of lies on you. Maybe it right along with this. No, okay. She told lies on you to get with this master. Yeah, they love to talk about you in secret. They bad. <laughs> The bitches trauma bonded together because they was upset they lost you. So they thought they would just, you know, work together. Look, that's how it happened. Drunk, talking about how they didn't like you, drinking. Next thing you know, they started hunking on each other. All right, then he found out she was into some spiritual shit. Maybe he mentioned it some sort of way, and that's when he put her ass to work. That's when he put her to work and tried to have her match your energy, but it was impossible. 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 <laughs> yeah, they invested too much into this. They invested too much into this. This hermit. What is this hermit? You're the hermit. They invested too much into coming after you. Trying to cause you all kind of chaos. Like I said, get you robbed. Lying on you. Trying to get in from other people. Pillow talking. All right. Meanwhile, you over here minding your business. Head in the clouds. Living fancy and, and free. <laughs> okay. These people are going through karma. You're looking great. You're going to keep doing great. And you're going to manifest everything that it is that you wanted. Meanwhile, these people are just going to be forced to be jealous. They're not going to be able to come toward you, say anything toward you. They're going to be blocked or they are blocked spiritually. They are blocked financially. So anything or any way that these people were trying to uh, get in touch with you before is no longer going to work. And you're victorious. I'm here victorious. Okay. So, all right. This is it. This is all my loves. Let's see how much time we have. Yeah, it was just talking about somebody. Ah, okay, okay. Somebody said, no, I want to know what they was doing. <laughs> okay, let's see what all they was working on. I gave you a couple examples, but some stuff got to get called out. Somebody also has an STD. This person has an STD that he don't want to let you know about. This woman got an STD. The toxic environment. Okay, this toxic environment with this masculine. Whoa, okay, so these two people were sleeping together in this toxic environment with this masculine going back and forth. And all this stuff, she uh, got pregnant and she ended up getting a secret abortion because she did not want to bind herself to this masculine any more than she already was. She did not want to have his baby. So she, whoa, I told somebody's business. So she didn't like that, okay? Uh, someone's planning a betrayal. Uh, they want you dead. They knew exactly what they were doing when they did this work. They wanted you poor. Because this masculine was worried about if you were single. She was gossiping with him. He was gossiping with her. They were trying to scry and watch you through mirrors. All right. Someone went to jail. All right. One of them might be going to jail. And this feminine. Yeah, one of them might be going to jail. Okay. And both of these people could possibly have something to do with scamming. But somebody's going to jail. All right. For scamming. For filling out stuff and getting work. I mean, getting money unlawfully. Now they can't do it. That's why. All right. So these people might be getting ready to go to jail for fraud as well because they tried everything that's why i'm like they don't have no money left to keep doing the shit that they was doing against you these people got caught somebody going to jail all right uh yeah what i said mental health issues now somebody wants forgiveness this masculine might be trying to come to you and sleep with you in your dreams this feminine hates your light this masculine wants you to unblock him he even tried to sacrifice animals on you he was cheating on you repeatedly on purpose now he's sleeping with one of your ex-friends. The spell work they were doing backfired. They wanted to take your creative and sexual energy, and now they're under judgment for that. This masculine also might be into other masculines. He gives me very doubly do right, meaning like this is the type of guy that does everything for his homeboys. <laughs> you know what I mean, okay? Someone is a heavy smoker or could have been a heavy smoker. Anything else, Holy Spirit? Yeah, they might have ended up getting married trying to make you jealous as well. Once a divorce, that might be the insurance scam right there. Negative entity towards your home because this masculine wants to hold you tight. What I told you, he had some damn 
Ooga Booga got there watching you in the bushes to make sure no masking and came to your home because that's the minute he was going to start doing spell work. But the process exists for a reason. It's not going to work. All right, this woman got this abortion because she's in this toxic environment and the baby wasn't this masculine. She didn't want to get into it with him. All right, she even put a hit out on your child. She wants to see how you make money. Um, this masculine sent her to befriend you, but now she wants your energy for herself. She wants to know, can y'all get closer so she can gain your trust? This masculine wants to tell you he loves you. You guys are supposed to be connected in a soul connection and he wants your back. But I'm telling you, this person has bad health and this feminine can't stand you. She's a copycat karmic as well. All right, this is it. This is all my little bugs. I hope you got what you needed from this reading. And I hope you continue to stay away from these crazies. All right, I'm going to go ahead and clean the table off. We may do us an energy read for the evening. And then we'll get back into the regular reading. So if you enjoyed this one, come meet me in the next one.